Now, this is for my entertainment only. And my main character, that Earth is Hell, is Pretend a Lot Narcissist. So, um, he's, he's so fake as hell. Not real as heaven. He's fake as hell. And uh, he goes to church every single Sunday. Every single Sunday. Because he's such bullshit, you know. So, <laughs> he's so afraid that, oh, they know who pretend a lot of narcissists is. Like, this church doesn't care. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, the, so he's a paranoid. He, 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 he's completely paranoid. Yeah. You know, like, all the hell that I was forced to put up with over three years ago with, um, <laughs> oh my God, Sam, I, I love you, yes, way. They're gonna kick me out of here. I'm gonna lose my sense of security. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my sense of security. I... That's what I had to put up with over three years ago. Just him constantly paranoid. Oh my God, Sam. Oh my God, Sam. I don't know what to do. Okay. <laughs> so, um, he watches my stupid videos. He's like totally obsessed with me. So, this is what goes on in his paranoid little mind. This is only for my entertainment only. <laughs> After seeing my last video. Oh no! What if my church believes her? Oh no! What am I, what, what, I, I, what am I gonna do? My church? I died! That my church is my big, huge mask that I'm, that I'm holier than thou! And I'm so good! What if, what if the church members saw what she said about me? What am I going to do? If they believe her, what am I going to do? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I have to go to church every single Sunday because to make myself look good, I, I painted myself. Into a facade of lies to the church. But I'm a good boy. I've always been a good boy. I don't know. I, I try. I try and try. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why she lies. <laughs> he called up a year ago. Making. All the shittiest videos against him, but it does prove that, at least it proves that Earth was hell for me, right? I mean, entirely Earth was hell. He's all of that I, you know, he, he's the only one that I could possibly rely on. Well, fuck that. He, uh, you know, all the times he kicked me out of his car, all the times he attacked me, I mean... Seriously, he might kill me if I would go to his apartment because of me loving myself and I, I'm hurt. So I just did these stupid videos and it's, I don't know, I use, this is my favorite way of counseling myself. I mean, if I really want to, I can look back on my videos and guess what? I'll look at one damn one of them. I mean, I should do something um, put it all together and instead of having it it's all scattered and fragments, but that that was my life. I was traumatized to death. No one should be traumatized to death. I, he's just such an idiot. I I just, 
had to do that little tiny thing. Um, uh, what if my church members saw what she said about it and believed her? What are we gonna do? No one can tell I'm a child monster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Michael Jackson, late Michael Jackson. I finally felt sorry for him because he died. He did die in misery and he decided to kill himself with Demerol was his drug. And I mean, he shouldn't have uh, child molested. It's not funny. He shouldn't have child molested those kids, but at least I guess they, um, the kid was well paid. The parents. So hopefully the parents were good parents and gave the kids some money and felt sorry for the kid. I, um, but, uh, yeah, again, with Michael Jackson, I had no idea that he, what is total proof is he gave a celebrity, and I believe his name was Jordan, a little black kid. And I don't even know why. Why do people act like, you're not allowed to use the N-word? Well, I don't. You're not. Black. Black is bad. Why is black saying someone's black is bad? I, I call myself white Caucasian. You're not allowed to say they're black. What am I supposed to address these people? They are from Africa. But some of them aren't from Africa. Like Obama. He happens to be that certain color and he came from Hawaii. He didn't come from Africa. So what What exactly am I supposed to call these people? Or trans. I mean, they really got fucked up with that. Like, I want to be called a cat or a dog. And I want to, I want to go in the streets with my spike of dog colors and crying on all fours and have my owner with me as I go down the street. I mean, I saw some crazy video with, I don't know what it was. I mean, grown men in spike dog collars one all four or like what the fuck is what the hell is wrong with you like you hate yourself that much that you know, what the fuck crazy crazy insane people um recollection there is a, a weirdo I talked to I talked to so many weirdos <laughs> everyone is crazy <laughs> He said, um, well, he told me a crazy story of, in New York City or something, he saw a mother with her three daughters, and they were all on dog leashes, and she whipped them, like, I don't, you know, I don't know what they were dressed, maybe they were dressed like dogs, I, you know, like, it's it, it just... Is sick. People are really mentally ill, you know, and you know, it's all throughout history. Uh, but it's just like, oh, people are crazy today. Well, no, I mean, that was like, well, I'm not sure. Probably around 2010. Talked to a lot of homeless people, and I, I just talked to him. I don't remember anything about him except he was a white guy and uh, just you know saying crazy shit. And there's just so much crazy shit out there. You know, I... It's nuts. Yeah. But, yeah. It, um, <clears throat> the victim can never, ever talk to their abuser again. Because the abuser is going to try to downplay their... Their trauma and make it out like it never happened. And that naturally will get your the victim extremely angry and just like boil up inside and just, you know, um, they create insane abusers create hell for 
Your battery is running low. Some features may be limited. Why is it even bother? Yeah, I mean, when it's low, it just turns off. Who gives a fuck? That just bothers me. Um, and I never seen that. Yeah, my, my battery, I like just really go low. It just turns off. Never ever said that before. So, whatever. Um, um, this world's totally backwards and insane. And it's always been a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Survival of the fittest. This world's just nuts. I, you know, I, he asked for help and there is no help. And what, what is help for a homeless person? They need a place. They desperately need a place. No, I somewhat helped out <coughs> some people this past month. But um, the one individual, I'll just call him Purple Alien God. Oh, <laughs> okay. Genderless Purple Alien God. I talked to a, a homeless person. And um, for a while, just lied. <laughs> he loves Jesus because I, I, you know, I just to try to take advantage of me, and and he did because I feel sorry. <coughs> Whatever his circumstances, he's homeless. I mean, stolen from blind. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> so that's. I'm like, yeah, I could give you. 20 or 30 bucks when I come in town and I never even came in town but I call him and he immediately gets on the bus what the fuck am I supposed to do so I shouldn't even bother <laughs> he cared like. so I basically gave him like 30 bucks go go get take the next bus back to where you came from like well, why do you even do that so then, um, I think I heard his name. I forget, deliberately forget, because just totally taken advantage of. I, I just, and I said that that would be the last homeless person I'd ever help out. Well, first I'm helping out myself, and then I'll help out homeless people if I can. Like I, I really, you know, like there was a poor couple, and I mean. If anything, like a normal, normal people, I mean, everyone should be respected. So no matter what the circumstances, give them a place for a month. And if it, if it's a hotel room, yeah, why not? I, I mean, the, um, they should do something for the homeless. Like there's. Homeless people for 10 years in Lancaster, I guess they get a check. I get, you know, I don't even see how the hell you can live on the street and not even get a check to be able to go into McDonald's and stay there for two hours. I mean, when you're homeless, you're homeless. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. If I was homeless, I wouldn't have anything but a backpack and... Uh, there's no storage is a joke because it's way too far away to throw all my shit out and storage away. I, I mean, what, what am I supposed to, you know, it's too far away. Anyone who puts their shit in storage, bye bye. It's unrealistic. You know, you have to go through boxes and shit. You know, it's like you, you need. <laughs> To have an area, a room, or like a garage. <laughs> Why the hell would you have a storage unit when <clears throat> it should be like put in the garage and then you can leisurely uh, throw it out drinking coffee? Like, that's what I would do. Like, you know, I, I can just take a break. Go through the shit and then take a break. And go through the shit and take a break. Until it's done. And it's hard. You know, it's just. Whatever. People just put things off. And yeah. Whatever. 
Um, why am I talking? Because, I don't know, because, uh, <laughs> because this is the best counselor in the world, because your, your Android is the best counselor whatsoever in the world, because it actually takes down every single thing that you say. And a person can study themselves and figure out, well, man, you know, I got to change. You know, I can't, I can't be, you know, be this angry. I, I was angry. Now, you know, my worst insane abusers out of my life. And that's awesome. But they shouldn't have done. <clears throat> yeah, where is it? It's down there, it's in a hole. <laughs> the unforgivable sin. I mean, child molesting is the unforgivable sin, and rape, and killing. Like, like, uh, and, and retarded um, Christians, they believe, oh, well, sin is sin. Get the fuck out of here. And, and I, I argued with um, fake Christians downtown Lancaster and I. I said, uh, okay, sin is sin. If I steal a piece of penny, uh, a penny candy when they used to have the penny candy stores and child molesting, you, you, that's the same to you? Sin is sin? I mean, that's what you're saying. Oh, yeah. And then the guy's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I've stolen penny candy. What the, what the fuck? You don't even make any sense. Did, did you hear what I said? Sin is sin. So child molesting is the same as stealing a little piece of something that cost a penny way back. Certainly not today. Can't get anything for a fucking penny. It's ridiculous. Well, I, you know, and there can't be any judgment because you're reincarnated back in the earth. I mean, there are testimonies that are true. And Barbara Waters, I think, interviewed two very concerned um, parents. Their kids were like five years old and they were talking about their past lives. The one was in a war and the father was that interested because he crammed all this blood and the father was concerned. So, you know, they went to counselors like, what, what's going on? Your kid remembers his last, past life. That he drew um, a fighter plane exactly the way the fighter planes were, like, I guess, in World War II. So the, the, the father's going through World War II pictures, and the kid pointed to a man and said, that's me. What the hell? What the heaven? He spoke the truth. And, and the girl found one of her sons, supposedly two, but they only had one, interviewed. Like, she she was 36 years old, married, and she remembered her childhood. She went over to Germany. She found the barn. She found the bridge. She found her boy somehow. And, and, and he's like, yeah, that I don't believe in reincarnation. That is not my mom. But, but my mom's spirit spoke to her. So... All this bullshit, you know, that, you know, you end up going to hell, like, no, spirits are around, like, haunted, you know, uh, this whole world is, is a fucking lie, except for God's blood. Jesus' blood conquers the wickedness in heavenly realms. God came down as Jesus, was tortured on the cross, and so were all the disciples, and I guess Judas, but Judas was not, he, God knew he was going to betray him like that. And I guess Judas, like everyone else who doesn't know God, disappears. What is man's life? But a vapor. Judas's life, but a vapor. But maybe you got reincarnated, like how many times since that happened? People get reincarnated. They re reincarnate back in hell or they just fly around and they're haunted. Haunt, haunt their own house that they used to live in. Way too long. And there was a, a ghost 
when a, a woman moved in, there was a ghost. Um, she smelled smoke, and she didn't like the rocking chair, so she got rid of the rocking chair. Well, the smoke, she smelled in her room, and the ghost sat on her bed, so she saw an impression and smelled the smoke. She immediately went out and got another rocking chair. And I guess she thanked God because the ghost decided to go outside and she smelled smoke out there. And I'm like, good, good. That's that. You can stay there. Don't go in my room. The ghost was a little pissed off. Um, yeah, you're the one who threw throughout my rocking chair. Oh, my God, I'll get you another one. And that's basically what happened there.